hello friends welcome to electronic circuit hub so today i'm going to show you about how to add third party model in lt spice let us say you have p spice model but sometimes you don't get the lt spice model but even if you have the p spice model you can easily add that p spice model to lt spice so today i'm going to show you how will you add fdv 30 one and p spice model to lt spice model so what i'm gonna do is i'll search fdv 301 and p spice model in internet and i'll click this on semi website so fdv 301 mosfet let us click on here once i click and i go to the website i'll go the technical documentation so let us go at technical documentation and once you click on the technical documentation you will see the pspice model i'll download this pspice model uh, it's already downloaded you can see it's already downloaded in the download folder and now what i'm gonna do is i'll close this i'll close this do not save and i'll let me create the schematic let me open that p spice model so i go the download here not sure uh, where it is yes here you go fdv301 and so if you see here i have opened dot mod file this is basically a dot mod file i have opened in the lt spice so what i'm gonna do is first i'll create the symbol so if you see here sub circuit fdv301 2010 30 50 okay and this specifying that 20 as a drain 10 as a gate 30 as a source and 50 as a term so i'll click on this part number and i right right click on this and i'll create the symbol so i'll create the symbol and i'll click yes so i see here there is a symbol which has been created so what i'm gonna do is i'll save this symbol okay i'll save this symbol but if you see here this symbol has four terminals like uh, uh, four pin 10 20 30 and 50 and we have the mosfet which is having the three terminals only gate source and drain so what i'm gonna do is let me close let me save this symbol save this close this close this also and uh, let me open new schematic go at the component you can see here the auto generated right auto generated symbol i'll click on the auto generated i see my fdv301 and here okay so let me quickly draw the schematic for this and uh, let me show you how this whether this symbol works or not and later i'll create this this rectangle symbol to our actual mosfet symbol so let me go at here component back i'll use voltage source one voltage source and this is the second voltage so go at here connect to ground go at here connect to ground right so this is the ground and this is the source so i'll connect source and pin number 50 to ground that is they haven't defined what is this pin and since this pin number 20 is the drain i'll collect one register to the pin number 20 let's do quickly very quickly and this is your gate let me connect here okay so this i'll give the some pulse signal like 5 volt okay and t on 1 millisecond t period 2 millisecond okay I'll give in the pulse to this circuit and this is the drain so I'll give this to 15 volt maybe that's okay and I define this register to the 1k for the moment okay so if you go at here on so let me open again that file the download file if you look at here your 20 is drain 10 is gate and 30 is source you can look at here this so that's what I am doing here. My 20 is 10 is gate, 20 is drain, and 30 is source. I have connected pin number 50 since it has 
no function so i've connected to the source and let me draw run the simulation for the five millisecond maybe and let me show you the output okay so this is your gate signal and let me check you the drain to source signal so you can see your drain to source signal is opposite polarity but it has it is working when your gate is off your drain is high so that is how you see your if you don't create your original symbol and if you use this rectangle symbol you even though your mosfet is working but what i'm i want now here is i'm gonna delete this okay and this also and i let me let me keep it this as it is now i want to change this rectangle symbol to your actual mosfet symbol in order to change the rectangle symbol to your mosfet symbol you can go your ltspice directive that in the document folder i have ltspice 44 ltspice this i'll go on the library i'll then click on the symbol once i click on the symbol i see the auto generated symbol here okay so i'll click on the auto generated symbol i see my fdv 301 what i do is i right click on it i'll open it with the notepad let me check if i have notepad yes i have the notepad and i open this terminal in the notepad since this fdv 301 has four terminal so what i'm gonna do is now i we have already mosfet in our in library okay so so what i'm gonna do is i'll use nmos so this is the nmos 4 so nmos is if you see it has only three pins so i'll not use these three pins i'll use the mosfet which is having four pin so here you see i have the nmos which is having the four pin right so this is having nmos 4 and this is having you see here the four pins so let me do it quickly for you so what I'm gonna do is this is my FDV uh, 301 and this is my NMOS. So I'll copy from version to our the window from NMOS 4 and I paste it on FDV. So this is my FDV. So I'll place our window. Let me copy from here version to the window, version to the window, and let me paste here to version to the window, right? So I, I pasted here, and what I'm gonna do is now, if you go down, you see the pin information. So I'll copy this pin information from here to NMOS 4, and I'll paste this to the pin information in fdv301 okay so so what i did is from nmos4 i copy from version to line our uh, version sorry i copied this from version to window and paste it here in fdv file then again i copied the pin pin information from pin to last pin and i paste it here and what i'm gonna do is now I'll, I'll save this i'll save this then i close this i close this let us go back to elter spice and let us see if we see that symbol uh, let me check that if we have got the original symbol in the component library so i'll click on the component and uh, maybe i'll go the auto generated then this symbol and I still see we have rectangle symbol. What I'm gonna do is now I'll save this LTSpice file. I'm gonna delete this LTSpice. I'm gonna launch again the LTSpice. I'll create the schematic and I'll go again search for the component. And I see we have the MOSFET here. And now you can see you have the gate, source terminal, and drain terminal let us quickly bias this mosfet and let us see if this also works so i'll go uh, i'll create one voltage source here i'll create one voltage source here and uh, maybe i'll use one register this is very rough circuitry guys uh, just to show you that our mosfet your psi 
PSPICE model is working and the MOSFET symbol you created works very well. So let me quickly connect this to here, this to here and this to here. Let me quickly add the ground here, right? So this is ground. Let me quickly add this terminal to your source terminal. I have added this again 1K layer sorry one and k one k this is this is the 15 volt let us say 15 volt and this is you can keep this aside this is the voltage source I have. i'll use so this is the pulse source and v on is 5 volt let us say t on is 1 millisecond this is 2 millisecond Okay, let us run the simulation. Go ahead, this run, run the transient. Time is 10 millisecond. Let us do that. Let us see, this is your input. And let us let me show you the drain to source voltage. And now you see your drain to source when your input is low, your drain to source voltage is high and vice versa. So guys, I hope if you follow this step, you are able to import or you are able to add the third party model if you have any further question, feel free to ask me in comment section.